right? And uh, let me try to explain these problems um, uh, with the help of uh, a scenario. So, um, so what we want to talk about is that what are the problems with this uh, TCP flow control mechanism? So, uh, there are two problems. Two flow control problems. Two. Two flow control problems that I would like to discuss with you. Number one is um, that receiver receiver is too slow. That receiver application is reading data too slowly from the receive buffer. And this problem is called silly window syndrome. Silly window syndrome. This means that uh, receiver is advertising a silly window size, means very small window size. We'll see what we mean by this in a minute. Silly window syndrome. And the second problem that I want to discuss with you uh, is associated with the sender. That sender, uh, senders, uh, sender's data comes in small amount. I mean, sender is sending uh, TCP segments or small sizes, and this is true, by the way, in case of interactive applications such as uh, instant messaging. And the solution to uh, you know this problem uh, is given by Nagel's uh, algorithm. So we'll see how, what is this problem, and how uh, Nagel's algorithm uh, tackles this problem. Right. So let's talk about. Uh, the, the first problem, that is uh, silly window syndrome. So silly window syndrome means that receiver window opens only by a small amount of time. And sender cannot, can only send a small amount of data at a time. Why? Because uh, the application, uh, you know, uh, why the, uh, why? Because the application at the receiver side is slow, reading data from uh, the receiver buffer. Why this is not good? What's the problem? So the question is, um, why uh, why silly uh, window uh, syndrome uh, is not good? Okay. So there are two reasons uh, that we want to address this problem and why it's bothering us. Number one, uh, it involves packet header overhead. So it involves packet header uh, overhead. Means what? Means uh, maybe we are sending one byte data, but for that we have to send a packet header of 40 bytes. We'll see in a minute with the help of a scenario that what do we mean by this? And the second problem with the silly window syndrome is that um, that these small small size packets, small uh, small packets cause cause more interrupts. Uh, at a busy receiver. So supposedly, uh, the receiver is all already busy. That's why receive, receiver's application is too slow reading data from the buffer. So if I'm sending small uh, size packets, means more number of packets to transmit uh, you know, data, this will cause more interrupts at the, uh, at the uh, at the receiver side. So let's try to understand this, you know, problem with the help of 
an example. So we'll see, uh, first of all, we'll see uh, what the effect of the silicon window syndrome is, and then we'll see what are the possible uh, solutions implementation, uh, how we can avoid this problem. So let's suppose that we have a machine A, and there is a machine B, and this is the timeline of machine A, and machine here, the timer is increasing downwards. And initially, machine B advertised a window size of, say, 2,500 bytes. Now, in response to this uh, uh, you know, received window from machine B, uh, machine A transmits a segment, say, having a size of 1,000 bytes. Then it again, uh, it again sends another segment having 1,000 bytes. And then it again sends another segment by looking at the available space in the buffer. How much space is available, by the way, now? H, this, what should be the size of this segment from A? Yes, you're right. 500 bytes. Okay, now what happens at the receiver size? Receiver side. So I assume that um, that at receiver, that, but by the way, this is the silly window syndrome problem, that application um, at receiver reads, uh, reads out, say, one byte at a time. So this means what? So this means if application is too slow and reading one byte, so if uh, application reads one byte, so how much space will be available in the receiver window? Yes, you're right, one byte. So this means now this time the receiver window, which is machine B, will advertise a window size of one. And this means what? That A will be, A will be transmitting uh, the segment having a size of one byte. And if same is the case, next time also that uh, application reads reads out one byte at, at a time. So this means A will keep on sending small segment sizes. And this will, why this is not good? Because uh, I'm sending one byte and one byte of data, and I have a packet header size of 40 bytes, for example. And sending too many small packets will further you know, make this receiver busy. Uh, so this will further affect the performance. Right? So what's the possible solution of this problem? So, so how can we address this problem? Um, the solution to silly window syndrome is, so now I want to talk about its solution. So what do you think? Uh, what is the solution to this problem? Where the application is reading data uh, too slow, and that's why the sender is sending small size segments. So the solution is uh, this: the, uh, the the receiver machine B in this case should not this the receiver should not don't advertise don't advertise don't advertise a window until. until it opens significantly. Okay, so what do you mean by significantly? So, uh, so don't advertise a, a window until it opens significantly means uh, until there is enough space available in the buffer. Then the question is, how much space should be available in the buffer? And and then uh, a receiver, uh, B in this case, should advertise this window. The, the available space in the buffer should be greater than half of maximum segment size. We know this MS, MSS, 
maximum segment size, or it should be greater than half of the receiver window. So, so a receiver in this case, which is B, will only advertise a window size when its size is a greater than half of the maximum segment size or half of the receiver window size. But now the question here is, what are the implementation alternatives? How we can make sure uh, that a sender is not, uh, you know, uh, is not advertising a window until its size is greater than half of the maximum segment size or half of the receiver window size. So the implementation alternative is, I mean, how are we gonna make sure uh, that this happens is that receiver uh, will send an acknowledgement hack with, uh, with receive window size zero. Okay, uh, so uh, let me um, let me try to elaborate it with the help of an example. So again, we assume that we have a machine A, and then we have a machine B, and it's the timeline increasing, uh, you know, downwards. And uh, this initial scenario is the same as was in the previous example, where the B will advertised a window size, say, 2,500 bytes. And in, this res in, in response to this, A is transmitting a uh, first segment having 1,000 bytes, and then another segment having 1,000 bytes, and then uh, the last segment will have 500 bytes, okay? So, so same is the case, you know, in this scenario also, that application, application at the receiver side reads reads out one byte at a time okay and uh, in order to avoid the you know the small uh, segment sizes which was happening uh, without a solution to the silly window uh, syndrome problem now the receiver instead of advertising uh, window size uh, one receiver will advertise window size zero. So now, in this case, in this case, receiver is advertising window size zero. And now, uh, since the receiver window size is zero, uh, machine A cannot transmit anything. So now the sender waits for uh, some amount of time and again sends a probe message to uh, uh, to this uh, destination machine. So here, the sender is sending the probe message requesting to advertise uh, the window size. By the way, the the amount of time the sender is waiting to generate a probe uh, message is called persistence timer. Persistence timer. So, so sender will wait uh, persistence timer. By the way, this is uh, 60 seconds. So sender will wait for 60 seconds and then will send a probe message requesting um, requesting machine B to advertise the window size, hoping that now enough space is available uh, in the receive window uh, to generate a segment size uh, having considerable size. Uh, there is another solution to this problem. Right, and that is uh, called delayed acknowledgement. Uh, so another solution to this uh, silly window uh, you know, syndrome uh, problem is um, delayed ACK. But, um, um, but the problem is, or the limitation here is that uh, uh, an acknowledgement should not be delayed um, uh, not more than not more than 500 milliseconds so so one problem is that the one solution to this problem is that we will advertise uh, window size 
for zero and uh, the sender machine A in this case will uh, wait for a persistent timer, which is 60 seconds and will send a probe message and hoping that now the uh, enough space is um, available in the receiver buffer. And the other problem, other possible solution is that B is delaying the acknowledgement, right? Hoping that by the time it will send an acknowledgement, um, uh, enough space will be available uh, uh, in its buffer, right? But the problem is with this, you know, or the limitation is that we cannot uh, wait more than 500 milliseconds. Or the, the second uh, issue here is, the problem is we have to act send act for every um, other segment. So we just cannot say that we are not sending acknowledgements. If we are receiving um, a segment, we have to generate its acknowledgement and that should and that cannot be delayed more than 500 milliseconds. So we have to act every other segment. What do you think? Why? Why we have to acknowledge every other segment. So I leave this question for an, our online discussion. So uh, why don't you think about it and come up with your answers in our online sessions and we'll have a discussion uh, on this, this point, right? So this is problem number one uh, with, uh, uh, with our flow control mechanism, right? And it's called silly window syndrome, okay? So silly window syndrome occurs when small size sized segments are transmitted, resulting in inefficient use of network pipe or uh, uh, bandwidth. For example, uh, suppose that the TCP sender generates data slowly, say one byte at a time. Why? Because uh, the window that is being advertised by the receiver uh, is of one byte. 